Good morning, boys. And I've got a little bit of minerals because they broke the mineral feeder over there. So it kind of stays in the bowl. They don't want it. But by the end of the day, with the three bags, that's gone. Spot. If you do know what a moon spot is, then let me know. If you're watching this, Heather, let me know. Is that a moon spot? I mean, this part right here. It's like brown on top of the black, and there's some more brown on top of the black over there. It's just that it doesn't have any shape, it's, it's kind of right there in the middle. Oh, my chunky baby. He's not chunky, but he's very, very, um, he has long, long hair. You know, Weather Duke. <laughs> You're so cute, Duke. Little Taz, I don't know if you can see, but he's starting to lose his winter coat. Starting to fall. Stop it, let him eat. No, rocks. Rocks, be nice. Be nice, Rox. Be nice. You're a good, good boy. My chubby boy. Chubby and stinky. Hey everyone, welcome back. Today is Friday. It's going to be a week since I let the goats out, Clara and her babies, the quads. But yesterday I brought them inside and check their weights and they are doing so amazing. And I was trying to calculate um, an average of what they're growing and at this point they're growing about 3.33 ounces per day. So I think that's amazing and by now our little black guy is as big as Mr. Cow. So they are progressing amazingly and I could see it without even checking their weights. But I still did it and I'm still going to do it for a while just to make sure that they're growing and that I can catch some problem before it actually turns into a problem. Now I haven't been able to be outside showing you what I've been doing because it's been raining a lot non-stop like right now I am under the trees but it is raining I've been trying to do a little series on how to start your own organic garden I've been trying to work in a bunch of different videos but it really it got to the point where I had to cover my camera probably that's about the point that I should do it right now but thought I go around catch you up on things that I'm doing before it actually starts pouring down rain I really need to mulch the duck pen. It's just one of those things that I have to do, but I really have been focusing on the most important thing and moving on from there. Oh my gosh. Those little stinkers are hiding the eggs. Get over here. Because there are three girls. So if they all started laying at the same time, should get three girls, three eggs every day. By the way, if you never try duck eggs, I like them better than chicken eggs. One of the things that I really want to do is finish this pen just by the boy's house. Uh, it's, I mean, I'll show you. It has fencing on one side. I don't know if you can see. 
but this is kind of a low spot so we were trying to find something to use for a spill but at this point I want to finish the fencing and make sure that I have a spot where I can put the dogs and put some babies when needed to. I do really need an extra pan here because I feel like it's always needed um, and I can always get the dogs out of this pen, this ginormous pen that's gonna be for them. And this pen, honestly, it's been made with the idea that in the future, the goats are gonna be able to stay outside and not have to be locked up at night. Uh, one of the great things about Great Pyrenees is that they have a loud bark, and so they do scare a lot of the predators away. However, he is right now inside the barn or the goat barn because he likes to wander and he is deaf from one ear he can't see very well and even though he loves his job he when he wanders it's very hard for him to find his way back home so because of that the plan is to put fencing all around here put some little seating area here so we can come and spend time with them in the afternoon and at night they be able to be outside have a house if they want to get out of the element but a safe fence where they can't escape and at the same time they have some shelter if they really do need it it's gonna share this fence which is the boys and again the idea is to use this as a breeding pen too so if I need to bring a doe here I can move it into this pen and I don't know if right now, but it's going to have a different division too, so they can be on one side the dogs and on the other side the goats if needs to. But I really want to make the goats accustomed to dogs, and I'm talking about baby goats, because some of the goats that are leaving the farm are going to go into farms where they have dogs. So my main purpose is bringing them here because I know the dogs love goats especially baby goats, and kind of leave them in this big space. Let me see, there's the corner, that's the corner post over there. So this is a huge area. Speaking about big, look how big Tass is. He is growing so, so, so good. I am very happy that I kept him. And I can't wait to use him this next fall. Okay, so it's raining hard. Let's go do the girls. Now, a lot of people wonder about our wood. I had to put my hair up because it's gonna be freezy and uncontrollable after being wet, but I was talking to somebody in the comments and was wondering about the creek. Now, this is my creek because it's in my property, but it comes from up the mountains. It kind of ends in the river, so Yes, it is my creek and it goes the width of my property but of course it comes from another property that is by us and the one that is on the other side and eventually ends in the river. Now the property is a lot bigger but I stick to this side of the property because there's not much on the other side, really on the other side of the creek or the south side of the property. There's a lot more woods that I'm gonna take you someday if you want to, but it's pretty much the same. It's this kind of trees, kind of mulch in the woods floor and it kind of drives my husband crazy that it's always there's a lot of stuff on the floor, but we can't do much about it, but wood chip and use it as organic matter. But, but yeah, someday I'm gonna take you to that side of the property even though I pretty much think it's the same. I let the goats out. I wanted to show you. I'm almost done with this hotbed. I got those L-shaped brackets and I put the last three 
pieces. Now I have to use that. Um, you know, I have it all over the place. It got wet. It's like a plywood like material. So I am going to cover this area, then put some plastic that is there. But I don't know if you can see, but the bottom part, the barn clean out, it's becoming soil. So this is hot compost at this point, but I need to fill it up with a lot more like thicker branches and stuff. So it heats up but doesn't break down so easily. And then put the smaller stuff on top just to heat it up and use it as a greenhouse. So that's what I've been doing. The ducks are having the time of their lives with this rain. Tell me where to start. Help. I'll help you. I'll help you. Okay, let's go with mom. I'll show you where she is. Your mom is over there, Mr. Cow. Right now, you're looking for your mom. Okay. I got your child. He's crying for you. Why do I have to be the babysitter? He was calling you. You didn't hear him? Why do you want to stay here, huh? Why do you want to be this sweet? You find your mama. I'm, I'm not your mama. I love you though. 